What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. The first official details about Black Panther 2 in its earliest stages of development in a recent interview with BET, Kevin Feige felt free to talk about where Ryan Coogler's at with Black Panther 2, what'll happen next with the film, and then what that might mean for its placement in the Phase 4 slate. He also felt free answering a question about a specific character's return from the first film. We're going to break down what he said and again what it means for the fourth phase in Black Panther 2, but first if you could hit the subscribe button we're giving away two playstation 4 pros as well as a whole slew of other marvel related stuff including tickets to go see spider-man far from home in imax all this week all you have to do hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video i'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there now unless you just started following mcu hype on the back end of avengers endgame and if so welcome to the fray avengers endgame was a different kind of movie in which marvel studios and kevin feige really had to just cross the finish line and as soon as they did we saw a complete sea change in the way that they answered questions in interviews the way that they were more candid not only about the material itself but also about what's to come and what their intentions were in an interview with BET Kevin Feige had no problem doing just that as Spider-Man is not the same as the first release of Black Panther and Captain Marvel there isn't the same need to protect that new fledgling franchise from news about some other big thing Spider-Man Far From Home is already going to crush face at the box office so in this most recent interview with BET, when asked specifically about Nick Fury ever making it to Wakanda, that led into him letting us know that Ryan Coogler had just started working on the outline for the movie right now. And then when pushed further, asking about Killmonger's return, which if you guys remember, was a huge rumor about six months ago, people rumoring that Michael B. Jordan would be returning for the second installment, even though we all know he died at the end of the first, Kevin Feige said, and quote, pure rumor. The honest answer is that is pure rumor and speculation because Mr. Coogler is only just now in recent weeks sitting down at his keyboard and beginning to outline the movie. It's early, so nothing is set yet in any way that far because Mr. Coogler is just sitting down and will share it with Nate Moore and myself in coming weeks. Now, first things first, and the most obvious takeaway from this is that all rumors regarding this film have been pure speculation up until this point. As he said, if Ryan Coogler is just now outlining the movie, then that means that no script has been drafted yet. It's usually a derivative of the outline itself, and it's going to be some time before they even put it to a first draft. Now, we all know that the Phase 4 slate is set to be announced in the coming months, and if Black Panther 2 is going to be included on that list, then they're going to have to have some sort of outline and deadline over at Marvel Studios. A lot of us guessed that they wouldn't wait but two years, and the earliest release date for Black Panther 2 would be something like 2021. The logic, of course, there being that it'll be two full years since Avengers Endgame's blockbuster and even if Spider-Man does a billion dollars there's no guarantee of the kind of hit that Black Panther 2 will be based on the numbers from the first one Marvel Studios wouldn't want to let it go too too long before they drop that second installment but honestly, if this is true about the outline just beginning, two years is a little bit of a rush, and I would think that Black Panther 2 would see more of a 2022 release slate. Now, this may be true because we know we're only getting two movies next year, and if Doctor Strange 2 is set to be the movie that takes the marquee in 2021, then you'd move Black Panther 2 to 2022 and not have them compete in the same calendar year. Either way, again, the big takeaway is that none of the casting rumors, none of the return rumors for the original cast or any of the storyline plots including the debut of X-Men have been correct up until now if there's been no outline for the movie it's also good news for Marvel Studios that Ryan Coogler is back at work on this he's been super busy and now it's only a matter of time also guys you can get excited though because the rumors of the X-Men being included may be false but now all of these properties are back under Marvel and the further that goes between Marvel Studios releasing Black Panther 2 and the building and the beginnings of phase 4 the clearer idea they're going to have of how they're going to use all these new Fox properties, which means every movie that goes by, there's a more likely inclusion of at least the first Easter eggs of these characters showing up. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. How hype are you for Black Panther 2? And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros. One now at the 500,000 subscriber mark, which we should hit in a couple of months. We're also giving away one over on my Spotify account. There's a link down in the description in the comments below. All you got to do, follow the account, all fires, screenshot it, stream the song screenshot that send it to everything always yt at gmail.com 
far fewer people are going to do this than sub here at the channel. We'll be giving away tickets to go see Spider-Man Far From Home in IMAX all this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If you want to enter that or the PlayStation giveaway here at the channel, all the same rules apply. All you have to do is subscribe. Make sure to like and comment on the video. Hit the sub button, and the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.